Hey folks, I have a few things I want to say about this backlash against cultural appropriation. The first thing I want to say is that I don't think it's one thing, I think it's really three things, and they're kind of mixed together, so that makes it a bit confusing. And secondly, I'd also like to point out that anyone who claims to be upset about cultural appropriation is basically advertising to the world that they're an idiot. and just basically causing people a lot of laughter and happiness at their expense. And that'll become clear by the end of this. So the first element that I see in this backlash against cultural appropriation is this idea of intellectual property rights for cultures. This is the core idea, and it's also the most absurd. And I don't even think I really need to refute it, because anyone who knows anything about intellectual property rights, who has any sense of why we have them and what they're good for, would understand that we can't apply it to a culture. We can only apply it to an individual. A culture can't have a patent or a copyright, and there's no point in one. Property rights can't be applied to cultures or demographics. They can only be applied to individuals, and there's really good reason for that. And anyone who spends, you know, more than a few minutes thinking about it will should be able to come to that conclusion. It just wouldn't make sense to apply it to a culture. So there's no need to worry about stealing ideas from another culture, a foreign culture, or profiting from the ideas of another culture and there's no sense in which cultures trade or sell or buy ideas from each other. So the problem with this idea is just the stupidity and ignorance of it. Now for the second idea. That's the cult of authenticity. The cult of authenticity is basically just about snobbery and status competition. It's about looking down on people who don't have as much of an advanced sensibility as you do, who haven't acquired as much knowledge, and it's just very narcissistic. Andrew Potter has done a great examination of this in two of his books, The Rebel Cell and The Authenticity Hoax, which I highly recommend. These cultural connoisseurs basically chase after illusory notions of purity and innocence and authenticity and originality. And they try to pass off their aesthetic sensibilities as if they were political goals. So the problem with this cult of authenticity is its narcissism and its pretentiousness. Thirdly, you have this hypersensitivity to insults. This is the backlash against microaggressions and humor and satire, just general fun and experimentation. If you're if you can claim to be a member of the culture, then you get a pass, and you can make fun of it and do what you want to some extent. But, and I can understand this aspect of it, I think this is the most sensible, because, yeah, it, you don't want to offend people needlessly, I, I get it. But at the same time, you do need satire, you do need, I mean, when comedians are being hunted down by the state, then you know you have a problem. So, I mean, a, health, a healthy society is one that appreciates good satire and doesn't censor it, and doesn't uh, give in to hypersensitivity. A hypersensitive society is not a healthy society, and a hypersensitive individual is not healthy either. They basically suffer from an auto autoimmune disorder. 
it's a form of insanity. So that's the opposition to this idea of cultural appropriation in a nutshell. It's really three things. It's this stupid notion of cultural property rights. It's this narcissistic status competition and search for authenticity and this cult of authenticity. And it's this insane hypersensitivity which just ruins people's humor and creativity. So it's really three things and it's all three things are not really very good for us. That's all I have to say. See you next time.